Okay, taking a quick break from the knife sharpening jig. Uh, hello, welcome to the shop. Uh, and I'm currently working on uh, getting a uh, pneumatic, like 12 volt little cylinder. Uh, hold it up there so people can see what, what I'm doing. Um, I need it to pulse so and I had to take this all apart and blah 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 like and I'm just getting ready to put it back together and make it work see if it'll do what I need it to do so I'll talk to you later I suppose all right took a minute got the uh, piston sealed back up um, and I haven't bothered with the rest of it yet but this should theoretically serve as a push-pull pump as opposed to an air compressor so well hopefully the compressor works uh, this is the start of what will turn into an engraving thing <clears throat> um, and uh, I suppose I'll get to that like here I go stopping and thinking again right staring at it like what am I going to do but that'll get worked out here in the near future welcome to the shop today uh, I'm finally getting around to working on the engraving machines um, and this is as far as I've gotten so far uh, and there'll be some more my my angle grinder not angle grinder but my bench grinder has a short in it so that's exciting right that was tapped drilled and tapped and shaped uh, needs another blah 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 hole in there uh, to accept uh, half inch 20 threads and this shaft has, has not been on the lathe yet so there's quite uh, a good amount of work to be done so yeah anyway that's the start of an engraving tool, which should be fun. All right, figured I'd take a quick break. Uh, this is reamed to 375 thousandths, 3 eighths. Uh, the handle has the, uh, the air, there it is, air nozzle put in there, so, so yeah. Um, and I, I haven't made the piston or anything yet, but, it threads together the way it the way it should. Well, my hands are all oily, but whatever. It threads together the way it should. Uh, and I've yet to start working on the hammer end. Um, and uh, that's that's coming up next. Because uh, I'm not sure, like, the best way to approach this situation. Like, okay, this is all new to me. Like. The machining is new to me. The concept of building a pulse etching machine is new to me. Pretty much everything but being a backyard mechanic, or a front yard mechanic, I guess, is new to me. So, in case you think it looks like I know what I'm doing, I don't. I have no idea what I'm doing. So, but it's, it's nice that you thought I did. Thanks. So, that's where we're at right now, uh, as far as engraving machines go. Um, and sure, I could I could probably make it fancier and stuff, but right now I'm just trying to make it. Um, so, a little worried about about the stainless steel uh, male threads on the bolt uh, and how sticky they seem to be on the. Uh, aluminum that I that I tapped uh, which I suppose isn't isn't an incredibly big deal but it's a big enough deal for me and I saw a couple other people building these and uh, and there were a few really good ideas in there like including a set screw here to adjust the tension of the spring without having to you know change the whole distance of the handle and you know all sorts of little things like 
but I figure this is pretty good right now. And I think I'll have to look, but I'm pretty sure uh, I have a chunk of 3 8 inch stainless rod floating around that once it's polished up should be pretty good for a piston. We'll just have to take a look at that. So uh, until I take my next break. Welcome to the shop. I've kind of in secret been building uh, an engraving machine. Um, and uh, here it is. And I just fired it up and it's not perfect. I'll have to make another one obviously. The body's messed up and blah blah blah. But it does run. And that's really, uh, as far as pole scravers go, this is a pole scraver. Uh, it runs. And l let me, uh, oh, and I had to modify an air pump to get it to run appropriately, a little 12 volt air pump. Um, and this is gonna make like little compressor noises, but I'll put it right up here. I'll put this up here, I guess. Oh, switch, there it is. Hopefully you can hear that. That thing's running. Like, it's going pretty good. And all I did was a bunch of research on these things. Um, on YouTube. And uh, saw some designs and said, okay, I'm going to build one. Um, right down to the quick change tool post and the blah, blah, blah. Like, And I kind of I kind of built it my own way, but I still built one. That's all that really matters. Uh, puts me in a darn tootin' mood, so, uh, you know, some modifications, some work, and a couple more of these later, and I'll have it down to a, a somewhat of a science, like, uh, if there is an exact science for this, which I'm sure there is, I just don't know it, um, but I'm pretty darn happy with this, I mean, this is right, right down to the, the locking mechanism on the, on the, uh, oh, wrong hand on the quick change tool post like and a little o-ring and slots uh and they're they're tapped although i never did anything with them uh so eventually when i get around to uh, uh yeah i don't know dealing with that little hole down there and maybe getting a better spring and this has an eight gram cylinder in it which i think is really heavy <laughs> But it does hit pretty hard uh, and, and probably needs some springs and some other stuff. So, uh, and I'll get that worked out. It's not very pretty per se, like it could be a lot prettier, but that's okay because it works. Guess what folks, it works. And and that's really, that's really all that matters. Uh, so with a little bit of fortune, I'll be engraving uh, before too long at all. Um, uh, just a, a quickie shop update this time around. Um, and I'm not sure how this is going to work out. I've got a whole bunch of clips saved up. Uh, so I guess we'll figure that out when I get there. Um, all right then. I'll see you over on the other side of the video universe, I suppose. Okay. I figured I better take a photo of the thing running or what's the point really so now we'll shoot a photo of it running or anyway well I'm gonna mute the sound though Sounds back on.
Okay. So it works as it sets. Um, the only piece of tungsten I had that you know that would fit this thing was uh was really short. It's just really short is what it was. So in the meantime it works. Um and it works on a cheap modified twelve volt uh compressor that I bought on a road trip some number of decades ago. Uh, in the meantime, it's pretty cool and interesting and I learned literally how to build this watching YouTube videos. So if I can do it, you can do it too. Um, and all in all, it wasn't too bad. It took two days well, all together to put together. Um, and yeah, it's not pretty and it's not beautiful and it's not perfect, but I just wanted to make sure I could get one to run, and I did. Um, the piston inside here um, is eight grams. Uh, which is way too heavy, more than likely, but it's what it is. So that's an eight gram piston. Let's see, get, get over by the light. That's eight gram piston. Uh, that fits, you know, just haul it out the bottom um, and put a little hammer hammerhead on there. It's just stainless steel. There's nothing hardened or fancy about it. Um, and I drop that down in there and it flunk because it's a, a honed edge in there or honed hole, however you say that right. Um, and you put the spring in there and the, the cap I just left I didn't bother putting a hose barb or anything on it I just wanted to see if it would work like I said um, and as it sits it works works famously so that puts me in a cheerful mood needless to say um, <clears throat> and I'll fire it up one more time just for fun. Let's see, I just, I just uh, like seriously, like cheap old duct tape together at this point, like mini 12 volt air compressor that plugs into your lighter in the car. Um, and I've had it for a long time, it saved my life on my scooter trip like so many times. But now it's gonna. And you, I don't. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's hitting off and quiet. Um, I'm, I'm just going to increase the, uh, as soon as it'll let me. Which it won't let me right now because I'm a goober. Leatherman, if you don't have one well then you don't have one um there we go open it up a little bit and you probably can't hear anything over the compressor but that it takes some tuning to get the spring just right so that it'll hit hard um, and that's just trial and error, it's just playing with it until you get it right in. And right about there is right. So, compressor, chipping away at that, which I think is just dandy. Like, I think it's just dandy. So again, two day build. Um, a spring, a piston, uh, and those, uh, I don't have the plans with me, and I, I really do need to fix that problem. But a gentleman uh, sent them to me. I, all I did was ask him, and he mailed the plans to me or emailed the plans to me, and 
Uh, and of course it's not his directly his plan, but it's pretty close. Um, and the quick change deals uh, are most definitely not to par to plan. I designed them for my for my needs. So, uh, and this could used to be a little longer, but you know, there's a lot of things that this this graver could use that it just doesn't have. But it's the first one I built, and it works, and I'm really happy about it. So, <laughs> yay! Take a minute, like and subscribe if it suits you, and have a wonderful day. I hope it's going as good as mine.